What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kyla. I go by Blue Marie. Um, this video is long, long, long overdue. As you see by the title, your girl is eight months post-op. <laughs> All right, so pretty much a lot of y'all asked a lot of similar questions. So I'm going to go through the most popular questions and also a couple of questions that I thought were like kind of important or pretty interesting. Number one most popular question, and I have answered this one in every video, who was my doctor? You guys, my doctor is Dr. Ryan Stanton. He is board certified out of Beverly Hills, California. How does the implant feel? I remember watching the like other girls' videos and they would say that it feels like a raw chicken breast. I would have to agree. It definitely still feels like a raw chicken breast. It's just a lot looser now since I'm eight months. It's not very like, uh, it's not like it's a water balloon like type of feeling. It's very firm. But if you stick your finger into it, like it'll give, it'll press, it'll press in for you, like how flesh does. Um, how tall am I and how much do I weigh? That's a very important question because your height and your weight definitely makes an implant look different per body type. So I have a slim build and I'm really tall. Well, I, I consider myself tall. I'm five foot nine and right now I weigh 140 pounds. Um, but I'm tall, so it still look it still looks fun. Still small. Is it soft? The implant is not soft. It's not hard either though. It's definitely not hard. It's just definitely not soft. It feels like a workout booty. Yeah, it feels just it feels just like a workout booty to me. Um, what size did I get? I either got four hundred cc's or I got four hundred and twenty cc's. Can I feel the implant? I personally. I don't, I don't know what context this person meant this, so I'm going to answer it in two different contexts. I can still feel the implants in my body. Like, so I have breast implants, but they're older. My breast implants are maybe seven or six, six years. I can't feel them in my breast anymore. Like, this feels like my natural breast to me. This does not feel like my natural butt yet. Like, it's not one with me. We're not one. We're not one whole thing, you know. It still feels foreign. Or if you meant it as in, can I feel the implant with my fingers? Then yes, I can feel it with my fingers. I can. The average person, if they was just grabbing on my booty, they wouldn't, I don't think they would know it was an implant, but I think they would be curious on what that was they were touching. But they would have to really be digging because it's only this one specific spot at the very, very bottom. Um, how much did it cost? $13,000. And that was just the surgery. So that's not including um, where you're going to stay, your hotel, your Airbnb, you know, your cost of living, your food, travel. Um, I don't even think that included the medicine. Don't quote me on that. That might have included the medicine, but I don't think so. I think my medicine was actually separate. Can people tell that it's fake? I've only had one woman asked me if my booty was fake and that's when it was brand spanking new like 
the first month and a half that I had it. Like, I want to say it was like week five or six. So since they're implants, they're similar to how breast implants are. If you guys are familiar with breast implants, when you first get breast implants, they're super high. And they're even really square. They look very, I guess it depends on what you like, but to me, brand new breast implants look a little silly. They're really up high. So my buttock implants were no different. When they were new, they were extremely high to the point where even I, if I was to look at somebody in my mind, I wouldn't say it out loud. Y'all crazy. Y'all be saying all types of shit. But for me, I wouldn't say nothing out loud in my head. I would just be like, damn, that's a high ass booty. Like, is that shit real, man? But anyway, what's really cool about the implants is they didn't take away my hip dips. I still have hip dips. So I don't look like I have a BBL. You know, with BBL bodies, they have that hourglass shape where where somebody would have hip dips is filled in. So I have hip dips and I have a fat ass. So it just looks natural. It just looks like either I was very blessed or did I go to the gym? It really looks like I go to the gym, which I do though. So it just looks real. Hmm. Is the implant obvious in certain positions? At my age, no, it's not noticeable in certain positions, really. Okay. This is how it looks. See, it's not noticeable. If I bend over this way. This is how it looks. But month seven, six, every month prior to month eight, the implant was very noticeable in certain positions. Like any position of me bending, it looked weird, but that's because it was up so high. It wasn't in this position, you know? Like when you first get it, it's up high. And as it ages, it drops down to the actual spot it's supposed to rest in. So when it was new and you bend over, it was high up where it don't go. Like it looked like you're supposed to push it down or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 it's like that. Does it jiggle? Let me see. Safe to say, it jiggles. All right. Um, how does my scar look? Um, I am deeply melanated. I self-identify as dark-skinned. My scar is dark. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is extremely noticeable. It's not ugly. It's not keloided. Like it's not protruding like it's not a bump you know how some scars are very raised from the skin the scar is not very raised the scar is very much smooth and flat but because i am brown skin dark skin it's oh i know it's like as dark as my elbow you know, like for, like how some black people's elbows and kneecaps are darker than the rest of their body? Because, you know, it's folded skin. Look at mine. My scar is as dark as my elbow. And I know, like, that's low-key a big deal, especially if you are a dancer. It made me sad because I'm like, dang, I pole dance, you know? So, since I pole dance and, you know, you bend over and stuff. People can see the scar. It's not that I'm like embarrassed, but it's not a cute scar. It's not like a sweet ass scar. It's like 
one on each side. It's two vertical lines on the inside of the butt crack, like one line next to each side of your thong. So your underwear doesn't cover it, but it is really close in between. There's another young lady I know that got um, a buttock augmentation and her scars are further out than mine. So I'm blessed that they are closer in, but regardless of whether your scars are further out or closer in, your scars are gonna be visible. So you kind of just have to get over that if you get the surgery, regardless of what doctor you go to. Like Same thing like if you were to get breast implants, like you're gonna have a scar. So you just get over that part. Like, either you're gonna dance on stage or you're not. Like, you feel me? And then honestly, Young ladies who get BBLs and um, tummy tucks, they still pole dance, they still get on stage, you know, so don't don't let that really discourage you. Um, as long as you are a beautiful person on the inside, I'm sure you will shine bright on the outside and baby, ain't nobody gonna pay attention to them scars. Okay, does it hurt? It doesn't hurt anymore. I just don't feel 100% yet. I feel like I'm in the 90s percentile percent, like 90 something, 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 something. I don't really know what the number is, but yeah, no, I'm not 100%. I, I would never just, what's that one wrestler from WWE Smackdown? He was like Samoan or something. Rashiki. Y'all remember Rashiki? How he used to like, run and slam his ass on top of people. You're not slamming your ass on top of people, Ava. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. You can bust you can bust the splits real hard, do that stripper move where you bouncing on your booty, you feel me in the splits. But you ain't where I shiki in no guy. Um can I see the implant outline? I ain't gonna lie. Every month prior to month eight, you could, I could see the imprint outline. However, at eight months right now, no, you can no longer see the imprint outline. But also there was this like limbo, couple months in between where, like I said, I didn't know that the implants were not gonna get rid of my hip dips. So I was looking at my hip dips thinking that my hip dips were the implant outline, but it was just my, my hip dips. Like I had to go back and look at my before pictures. So make sure you take you some before pictures so that you can really comprehend what you did to your body. Because as you're healing, your body is visually changing the whole time. Like your booty dramatically does not look the same day one as it look day 30, as it look day 50 something, as it, you know what I'm saying? It progressively changes. So you'll be thinking these are your results and they won't be, it'll be something else. You feel me? I'm sitting here looking at my hip dips as I'm walking, literally feeling devastated, bitch. Like, oh my God, I ruined my body, I ruined my body. I could see the implant. I had to look at old videos of myself like, Whenever I walk, I have a hard line on the side of my body because I have absolutely no hip. You'll, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. But if you if you flex your booty cheek hard as hell, like squeeze, yes, you can see the entire implant. This is the line I was talking about. This is not the implant outline. This is the hip dip, so. Squeeze them butt cheeks. The outline would be this. This is the hip dip. So if you're walking, you're gonna see the hip dip, not the implant. Hip dip. 
But that's the same thing with breast implants. Like if you're just chilling with your t with your titties, you can't see somebody breast implant. But as soon as you like, see how I'm doing this? If you squeeze your breast, it will tighten to the point where you can see a, the outline of your breast implant. But I don't know why you would just be squeezing the shit out of your ass. I mean, no, 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 no. But I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. Self-expression. Maybe you do a little dance and you... I don't know. But I mean, if you don't find the outline appealing, don't, don't squeeze it. Don't squeeze it. Don't squeeze it. Do it. Remove it. Did it remove my hip dips? No, baby. And I was so excited too because I'm telling you, when... The surgery was brand new. I had hips. Now, the surgery not brand new no more. I don't have hips. Like, it give you hips from the back, but from the front, you have your OG shape. But I'm not so disappointed though. Like, I talk, I sound like I'm disappointed because I, because at first I wanted them to fill in my hip dips, but now I'm more appreciative that they didn't fill them in because it's it separates me from the BBL body. And I love the BBL body. I do love it. But I'm I'm grateful because I don't know about y'all, but I go through a grief, a grieving stage where I'm sad that I've altered my natural body. Like I'll miss it. I'll never get it back. The implants are reversible. You can safely take them out and have your natural body again. But I, I have a scar there now. You feel me? So it's like, um, I grieve and I mourn and I be a little sad, like, oh, like saying goodbye to a part of myself. So I'm happy I didn't have to say goodbye to two things. You know, I would have been saying goodbye to my natural ass and saying goodbye to my natural hips. But I got to keep my natural hips and just change my ass. So I won't be getting, I thought I was going to be getting hip implants to match, but I decided to keep that imperfection. And it's not even something that's imperfect. So, you know, I have to be careful calling it that. But what I mean is hip dips aren't um, very socially acceptable right now in 2023, 2022. As body as much body body positivity as we have, body positivity is still ruled by proportions. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's okay to be a big girl if you are a curvy big girl. Like it's okay for you to be skinny if you have hips. You feel me? So it's like it feels cool to go against the grain. A little bit. Just a little bit. One last question I had. Did I have any complaints um, with Dr. Stanton? The surgery went 100% well. Like I don't have any complaints in terms of his, his work. I don't think I could have picked a better doctor when it comes to the actual surgery itself. However, like I spoke on my old, in a later video, his bedside manner was really horrible with me when I asked him for um, a refill with my prescription of my Percocets. I think I was given Percocets. If it wasn't Percocets, it was like an off-brand. I can't remember, but um, it was just a pain pill. I have a really, I feel that I have a high tolerance for pain because of my tattoos and piercings. But for some reason, when I got my breast done and when I got my butt done, my tolerance was very low. Um, I went through the same thing when I got my breast done. When I got my breast done, I was hooting and hollering to that doctor too. Like, please give me some more Vicodin at the time. It was Vicodin I was taking for that one. And that doctor refilled me. I went to a military doctor for my breast. So for this doctor, I'm thinking that they would do the same thing if I'm in a lot of pain. I called him. Um, like Dr. Stanton, I actually was like on the verge of tears, but I was trying to be professional. I don't know why I don't work with, for him, but I was trying to be professional. So I was like, oh my God, Dr. Stanton, um, I'm in a lot of pain. Can you please refill my prescription? And he was like, no. 
And I was, I started crying. And I was like, you don't understand, I'm in this group, she getting pain. And I want to say I was a little bit past week one. I might have been eight days post-op or seven days. If you don't know what this surgery look like, he cuts open your muscle of your butt and sticks the implant inside of the pocket of your muscle. Like he turns your muscle into a pita. So imagine if your muscle was a fist. He opens, cuts a slit in it, and makes an opening, and puts an implant inside, closes it. It hurts. It hurts. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, all, like, for real, bro. So I just kept it a buck with him, like, bro, like. I said, bro, like, I really can't do this, and I just would start crying. And he was like, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, take ibuprofen. I was like, I try ibuprofen. I said, I, I try icing. I said, I talked to my nurse first, she was my last resort. And it was like, well, it's a no. And I was like, I cracked a joke, like a hood joke. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I was like, <laughs> I said, come on, doctor, saying you gonna make me have to hit the streets. And I didn't really mean it, like, it was black humor, it was, if I'm being frank. It was just black humor. Um, I was in LA, I didn't know anybody in there. I'm not about, I'm not about to take no pills. I'm just like cracking the dark humor joke so he can understand. And he just start like going off on me, like really yelling. He was like, what? You're not gonna tell me that you're gonna go out and buy drugs lately? And I, I was crying. I was like, Dr. Sandy. I said, I was just cracking, I was just cracking a hood, dark humor joke. I said, well, I'm sorry, you wouldn't understand because you you're just not where I'm from. And he was like, now you're insulting where I'm from. You don't know where I'm from. You can't insinuate, you don't know me. And I just hung up on that nigga, bro. Like, I ain't. So I ain't seen him since. <laughs> But yeah, that shit was crazy to me. Like, but what's crazy is the same thing happened to me when I um when I was in labor with my son. I swear to God, what the same thing happened to me when I was in the hospital. I was trying to tell my nurse that I was in a lot of pain. I was maybe seven centimeters dilated, six centimeters. I was in a lot of pain. I was telling her, like, I'm in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. Can I have the epidural? No, I can't take it no more. And she was like, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I don't know what it is about doctors. All of these doctors have been white doctors, so. I don't know. When I talk to other black women, I've heard that they go through the same thing when it comes to getting any type of pain medicine. And it's crazy to me because they give you a, a pee test before the surgery so they know if you have drugs in your system they know if you're a junkie or not so they can tell if you're clean if you're a healthy person so it's not like they really need to be on edge like you a junkie or some shit so i'm not even trying to hear that i don't even know why the reason is but long story short that shit really hurt my feelings so dr sand if you see this shit that shit hurt my feelings because to keep it a buck with you right hand on the bible that shit was hurting. And I genuinely, no cap, needed more pain pills. And you genuinely told me no. When you could have just said yes. But whatever. Um, I do not regret my surgery at all. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't regret it in terms of how beautiful it is. It's so cold. I look like a cold piece. And now I'm going to show you guys a 360. This is me standing up straight. I'm not poking out my butt at all. This is just my normal posture. Normal posture. If I stick out my butt, it looks like this. But if I tuck my tailbone, it's here.
Here we have a print. Zoom it out. Look how much I can squeeze it right now. I'm just scared to squeeze it any harder than that. I don't know if I can. I probably can. I'm just too scared. Um, let me just see if I'm going to hit. However, I will be slow. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, um, leave them at the bottom of the video. I'm pretty sure I answered everything. Um, I'm thinking about in a future video showing you guys how it looks on pole. I had a couple of young ladies reach out to me and um, just tell me their concerns about how the implant looks in movement. So I'm trying to figure out what I could wear and my video don't get age restricted to show that. But that'll be my next video. I'll record that um, in a couple days. So yeah, thanks for watching. It takes me a little bit to warm up to the camera. I get really, 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 really nervous. But thanks. Um, hope you come back.